joining me in the room podcast to talk about his amateur kickboxing title fight at Combat Zone 78 is Mike Jolliker. What's up, my friend? First time having you on the podcast. How you doing, bro? Good, man. Good to see you. Good to hear from you. You know, first time on here, but we've talked multiple times. You're a familiar face, so it's good to be here, man. I'm excited. Excellent, man. Well, the last time I spoke to you was uh, a win in MMA, your first uh, MMA experience as an amateur. You fought for Neff. You came away with a, a finish in there, man. It's been a grind since there, bro. This is going to be your fifth fight in uh, 13 months. Two MMA fights. This is going to be your second amateur kickboxing fight, man. How you feeling about the opportunity and your year so far uh, fighting in combat sports? Dude, I uh, feel great, man. Last uh, yeah, last time we spoke was at NEF. Uh, that was my debut. It was almost a year ago, 10 months ago about. So that was fun. That was great. Great way to start off, you know, keep the energy alive and fucking uh, just been working ever since then, man. Um, going on my third kickboxing fight, actually. This is the third one. So we'll be in there about a week to go. And just been working with my coaches a lot. You know, Walter has been coming up with their own stuff and trying to trying to put it to put it to the best of use in the cage. So show we dangerous everywhere. And uh, me personally, looking to get my feet wet, stay active in competition, man. That's why you see me fighting for his kickboxing title. You know, just keeping my feet wet, you know, while we wait for uh, wait for what's next in the MMA world. But combat sports is my new love, man. So we'll see where it takes me, right? Yeah, excellent. Well, were you thinking of maybe uh, jumping on this card in an MMA fight and the kickboxing title fight opened up? What was your thought process about uh, either you were going to fight MMA or kickboxing? So, yeah, um... No, I wasn't originally supposed to fight MMA on this card, but like Combat FC was like in in our in our eyes before uh, before Combat Zone, but we didn't end up going there. They'd offered me this title shot because of uh, I don't even know why, but things just lined up, and uh, us and Sparrow's been kind of going at it. You know, we've been competing a lot, like against each other, so it was a good matchup and. Fucking the other kid, he just does kickboxing. He's got a 2-0 record kickboxing as well. I, I just got to my record to be 2-0, so it just looked, looked like a, a good fight to to just stay active and, you know, get some hype, put on a show, and, you know, just get just get in the ring more, man. You know, that's most important, I feel. Or well, everybody tells me that, at least. Well, it's a great fight, dude. As you spoke about your opponent, Justin Santiago, he comes out of Sparrow's uh, mixed martial arts, a very popular camp in uh, the New Hampshire area. Um, he's got two fights for, I believe, for Combat Zone. His two wins there in kickboxing. And um, <clears throat> you also um, have two kickboxing fights. And uh, I do believe they're both for Combat Zone also, correct? Yeah, yeah, both for Combat Zone. So it definitely makes sense for a cool amateur uh, title fight here. Uh, you yeah, know, cool. Yeah, definitely cool, man. As far as the kid, man, have you seen him fight? Uh, he's primar primarily a kickboxer, as you said. Have you seen him uh, on the circuit? Had, did you see him at Combat Zone fight? Yeah, he's been around. Like, um, He actually fought my boy, Chris Medeiros, and unfortunately... Um, his shoulder had popped before we were able to even get the fight started. I'm looking like it would have been in our favor, but that was um that was a little, a little while ago. And then he was on the same card as me, um, August sixth, last combat zone. So he was actually back there in the same corner. So yeah, I've seen him warm up and shit. You know, been around. I've seen him fight too. So it'll be a good fight, man. I'm I'm excited. You know, he's uh he's like a pressure fighter. He's kind of like a little. He gets a little uh, aggressive, a little spastic from what I've seen. So I'm excited to just show him how, how to really fight. You know what I mean? Excellent, my man. Well, Combat Zone is a huge, huge promotion, bro. Um, big in the heart of uh, New Hampshire there. Huge crowds there. He's, I would imagine, from the New Hampshire area fighting out of, yes. uh, fighting out of Sparrows. Uh, you're fighting out of KTA. They are in New Hampshire also. Is New Hampshire uh, your place of residence also? Yeah, I actually live in Nashua, KT Academy. We 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 out here in Nashua, New Hampshire, uh, downtown. So yeah, it's actually pretty convenient that um, uh, Walter just lives in the same city I grew up in and stuff. I managed to find uh, him out here, and uh, yeah, so 
not too much of a commute for me to train every day. It's like basically five, 10 minutes away on, on a bad day, you know? Awesome. Well, as so far as out here in Nashville, it's so both of our backyards, really taking, taking this place, taking place in both of our backyards. Yeah, well, that was going to be like my next question here. Who do you think is going to be the favorite here, bro? It's 2 and 0, 2 and 0. You guys said you have, you know, you have some scraps that have been going on in the past. There's probably a lot of uh a lot of pride talking going online right now, man. Um as far yeah. as as far as the crowd, you think it's going to kind of be an even crowd there? What what are you thinking as far as uh, you know, the the people out there watching this? Uh, it'll be interesting because we got we got a couple. We got Josh Medeiros uh, with us. He's uh, fighting for a 135 title, and um, another Joe Peters. He, uh, he's fighting too. So we're gonna bring out a crowd. We got a couple uh, couple fighters, and I know Sparrows. Uh, they're they're always there at the events. You know, they like to support their fighters. Fucking, so it should be good, man. Hopefully, no beef starts up in the crowd, you know, before we get to fighting. <laughs> well, in the lineup, do you know, I mean, the the the, the, the event's a couple of weeks away. Um, do you know where you are in the lineup here? It's a, it's a huge card, a lot of amateurs, a lot of pros on the card. Do you know anywhere yeah, about, fun. anywhere you're going to uh, be on the card at this point? Yeah, I think I'm the last, the last amateur kickboxing fight, so should be right before the amateur MMA uh, fight startup, you know. Excellent. So last one, end with a bang, you know, get into that, get ready right into the MMA. Awesome, my man. Well, as far as training camp and getting ready for this, um, man, I imagine you're foc focusing solely on the kickboxing uh, part of uh, combat sports. But are you getting in a little grappling here and there just so you could stay ready if you have a quick finish in here and you can, you know, maybe jump on another card uh, for our MMA in the in the near future. Yeah, dude, uh, I've been staying active this whole camp in jiu-jitsu, to be honest. I'm focusing a lot on my striking, you know, obviously be being that my fight is in kickboxing. But, man, I love jiu-jitsu. I, I honestly love jiu-jitsu a lot. And uh, it's something I'll do to just move and, like, kind of, like, just, like, do my cardio or whatever, dude. Like, I just roll around, have fun, you know, play, play with each other's minds, pick each other's brains, and... You can roll hard, man, every day. You know, you can't really spar hard every day or drill really hard every day. So it's another reason why I like jiu-jitsu. I was actually talking about that with my friend today. So, yeah, man, if we get a good finish today, a um, good finish next week, um, you know, opportunities are there. I'll take whatever is given to me if it, if it looks right, you know? Excellent. Well, I do follow you on Instagram, bro. You're a very uh, big fan of MMA and all that. You have a huge following as far as people that really support you, man. Um, how excited are you, man? You're a young amateur. You basically started a little, you know, a year ago as far as your fighting career. And, uh, yeah. man, you got a following now. You got a, you know, winning streak. You're fighting for a title. You're fighting MMA, kickboxing, uh, out of yeah, a great man. out of great camp, man. What, what does that do for a, a young uh, gentleman like you are? Yeah, yeah, a mind, you know what I mean? The confidence and all that. It, not only in, in the cage or, or the ring, yeah. uh, in life in general, bro. Yeah, man, that, that, that's actually a great, uh, great, great question. I say, dude, ever since training, like starting my, uh, you know, journey in martial arts and um, getting my feet wet in competition and jujitsu when I first did my first jujitsu competition and then to my first smoker, to my first cage fight, like, brings up the confidence a whole lot, brings up, brings down the anxiety a whole lot, but it's not like all that's not still there. You know, I'm still nervous, you know, all the time that I go into competition, even just jujitsu. I'm like, oh shit, you know, like what's about to happen? Like I come in here, like trying to do my game plan. This dude might be trying to kill me, you know, <laughs> I'm just trying to take my head off. I'm like over here, you're trying to fucking hit a submission. I learned the other day, but as far as confidence speaks, I'd say brought me up a whole lot in life. Like I feel like I'm a better person, better leader all around just better person keeps me out of trouble you know i feel like uh i feel like it's a re big reason why i'm so like driven to do this uh this fighting shit man because it speaks to me and i wanted to speak to other people the same as speaks to me you know and my son my brothers and anybody man anybody who just sees me compete and fight fuck it like, oh, i want to do that too you can do it you know well, you're showing it, my man. Uh, doing it, trying, man. Do, doing oh. it, doing it on all, all, all uh, you know, all areas of uh, combat sports. So good for you, my man. Um, as, you, man. as far as you know, this fight, dude. We have 
uh, you know, a couple of weeks until it. It's on a, a great Saturday night. There's going to be a stream available and all that. You know, what's left for you as far as, you know, this camp? Uh, it's settling down. What, what's left in this, uh, you know, this couple of weeks before fight night? Just getting the mind right, baby. Making the making sure my body is a hundred percent, or you know, as 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 a hundred percent as it can get before uh before we go to war. Then and um yeah, man. Basically, just um just staying staying focused, staying like laser focused and on the target because we only a week away. Yeah, I've been visualizing, you know, the fight like how you're supposed to, like how I usually do. Visualize my opponent, what I want to do in there. But you know, the last week shit gets like shit gets way more serious. For me, at least, you know, I don't have too much of a weight cut, so not too worried about that. Should be all good, man. Easy breezy till that till, till fight night. Excellent. Well, I said two weeks. Actually, you said a week, and you you are right on, man. I'm like I'm like giving you a little yeah, a yeah. week extra, bro. Man, there's so many fights and so many events going on in the next like week, couple of weeks, man. I can't keep track, bro. Yeah, but, right. They got NEF tonight. Yeah, uh, yeah. Tomorrow night. Yep. And then you know CES. You have uh, yeah, you, you know you have come, your, your show right after that, and then you got yeah, Cage huh. Titans again. So. New England's firing on all cylinders as far as, you know, uh, MMA, kickboxing, and all that, bro. So, congrats. Yeah, I love it. I love yeah. it. Congratulations for getting a fight in the heat of the moment when uh, shit's popping around here, bro. So, good for you, yeah, my man. Dude. Yeah, thank you, bro. I appreciate it. You going to be at these uh, these fights in combat zone or a little too far, huh? Yeah, well, it's not that, dude. Uh, I've been doing kind of fight companions now. I've been kind of, like, laying back in the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, in the podcast room. So, I'm going to do uh, I'm gonna do a fight with companion on that. So, I'll be... Uh, commentating uh your fight you know yeah, my okay, my cool. my way here that night so uh you know it, you know it brings a little more support to you guys you know for uh people that may, you know what i mean that check in on here so dude uh i'm gonna ask you a couple last questions and uh you know let you give your shout outs and social media but you know what do we expect to see from you on uh november 19th fighting for that combat zone amateur kickboxing title bro yeah man shit um just look to look for me to just be in there. I'm, I'm gonna try to uh, show off, uh, you know, a lot of what I've been working and um, that I'm, I'm not just some kid who fucking goes in there to throw hands, you know, like, and so like, I'm not in there to try to fucking be spastic, angry, and just try to, just try to, just try to kill people. Like, I'm in there to like beat you up, but like pretty. Like, I, I want to put on a show, you know, just make it look good, you know. We work in the gym. It's not all, it's not all hard work and fucking. And fucking, um, you know, like hard bag work, hard hard cardio, hard hard sparring every day. You know, it's a lot, a lot more to to uh, martial arts than that. You know, we do plenty of hard work. Don't get me wrong, you'll see that too. But um, I'm just ready to go in there, have fun, show what I can do to to, to sum it up. You know. Excellent. Well, last question before the shout outs, any sponsors in that. Um, who's going to be in your corner? Is it just going to be Joey and Walter or, you know, is there going to be another one in there? Because uh, it's a busy night for the for the crew there. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. So um, jo Joey might be in my corner. If not, I'm, Walter's definitely in my corner. If uh, Walter's not in my corner, I'm going to have my guy, uh, Jack Burke, probably be in my corner with me. Or um, maybe my boy Julian, Julian Mayavar. He just fought fucking the, the, like a couple weeks ago. Yep. So, yeah. So, um, a couple people in mind, you know. But um, should be good, man. Either way, we're going in there, take care of business. Definitely. Have some fun after, you know. Show what KT is about. I'm Excellent. excited, man. Definitely, man. Uh, a couple of title fights for you guys going in there, man. So, congratulations on all the su success for KTA, man, and so young in their gym, you know, in 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 the gym that they formed with all you guys. So, uh, last yeah, thing, bro. It, yeah, good stuff, man. Uh, last thing, um, shout out social media if you have a sponsor or anything like that. Tickets still to sell. Stream. You want to throw all that out there? Uh, send it out there, bro, and I'll let you get back to, uh, you know. Yeah, for sure. Doing your thing. All I gotta say is big shout out to my team. You know, the Rossi Tango Academy. Downtown Nashua, you have a round, come get some work in. Walter Cotito, my coach, my mentor, hungry motherfucker, yo. Just be on the lookout, yo, because he fuels us, and that motherfucker is crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, big shout out to my coaches and my sponsors, Carosa Eye Care, uh, Seven Seed Wellness, you know, all my guys, you know who you are. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate you, brother, for getting me on here. 
and uh, doing what you do. You know, I'm just excited to fight, my man. And it was awesome to come on here and speak my mind for a little bit. Excellent, my man. Well, the pleasure's all mine, bro. Uh, you know, getting to know a young a young prospect like yourself and, uh, you know, helping you along here and getting a, a couple of more eyes on you in your career moving forward. Thank so, you, my man. Hell yeah. With that said, bro, uh, social media, I have your Instagram on here, but is there anything else that we can come follow you? Yeah, I'm um, just uh, the Instagram that Steve's got up at Mike.Jolly on Instagram, Facebook with Mike, you know. Hey, I'm just a fighter. I show, I, I share some funny memes, so you know, it's all it's all love and content on there. Come show me love, you know. Excellent, my man. Well, dude, uh, you get your hand raised uh, this that Saturday night, man. I'll make a meme for you. I'll make a special meme for you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> With that said, bro, Mike, thank you so much for the time, man, and have a ball on the 19th, bro, fighting for that uh, amateur title, man. Thank you, my man. Appreciate you. Till then, man. November 19th.